So I did the math, and since leaving my house 17 days ago, I've actually stayed at 10 completely different campsites all the way across the country. Now that's a lot of moving around for a very short period of time. So the 10 different campsites that I've been to have been across six different states. I've now camped in West Virginia, Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas, New Mexico, and now Arizona, where I've currently been kicking around now for a couple of days. And I've gotten the opportunity to do a whole bunch of photography across all of these states. And I've been trying to document it with these videos that I've been uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. One of the biggest questions that I keep getting in my DMs actually is in regards to camera gear. So all my videos that I used to make in the past were almost entirely around camera gear. And so some of my previous subscribers, they're very curious about what I'm using right now and uh, what my camera gear setup looks like. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit today. But first things first, <laughs> I gotta show you where I am. So you're probably wondering where I am and why it looks like I just teleported from the Arizona desert to London. And this behind me actually is what you might think it is. It's the London Bridge. So back in the 1960s, the British government actually put the London Bridge up for auction. And the founder of Lake Havasu, Arizona, Robert P. McCullough, I think his name was, saw it as a once in a lifetime opportunity and actually decided to purchase the London Bridge for, I think it was $2.4 million at the time. He took the London Bridge then, completely disassembled it in London, and then shipped it from London to the California coast and then brought it overland here to Lake Havasu, Arizona. So I'm here completely by chance, actually. I was last night sitting at my campsite in Sedona, Arizona, absolutely freezing. So I started looking at Google Maps, trying to figure out where I was gonna go next, ideally somewhere that would be a little bit warmer. And I was kind of zooming in and out on Google Maps and I saw a pin pop up for London Bridge. And I was like, wait a second. I'm pretty sure I've heard some sort of story about the London Bridge being shipped from London to the US at some point. So I, I zoomed in a little bit closer. I clicked on it and found out that as a matter of fact, yes, it is the London Bridge from the River Thames in, in London. So now we're here. But the plan right now is to head back to the campsite a little bit, talk a little bit about camera gear, like I said earlier on this video, and then actually come back here for sunset when the lighting is a little bit nicer. Right now it's like 1.30 p.m. So it's the absolute worst time of day to take photos, but we're gonna head back really quick to the campsite, talk about some camera gear, and then come back here. All right, we're back at camp and let's real quick talk camera gear. So first things first, let's start off with the fundamentals, my main photography camera. And this has changed so many times over the years, but what I'm using right now primarily is this, the Leica Q2. I absolutely love this camera. So it comes with a fixed 28 millimeter lens, which traditionally has been a little bit too wide for my liking. However, this camera has a 47 megapixel sensor, so it gives me the ability to crop in on the image considerably. I can crop into 35 millimeters and still retain like a 30 megapixel image, and I can crop into 50 millimeters and still retain like a 20 megapixel image, which is more than enough for me. Absolutely love the Q2. I might make another video on it in the future, but this is my main photo camera. All right, I'm gonna be honest right now, I might hold off on the rest of this camera gear section of the video for two reasons. Number one, the wind is really, really bad, which you probably already noticed. So I'm gonna move my camera so it doesn't get windy again. And I just noticed my windshield is cracked. I'm sitting here filming and I looked over to my right and I realized that there's a crack in my windshield. So I have to make a couple phone calls and figure this out. What the hell? I have no idea when or how that happened. Um, overall is what's 
like the size of it? Like a penny, quarter, dime? Um, it's long. It's probably a, f <laughs> a foot long. Oh, okay. Um, that we recommend um, replacing the windshield. We can't. How long would it take? Uh, we're looking into next week. Okay. All right. I am going to call around and just see if anybody has it in stock and can do it sooner, but I'll, uh, I'll give okay. you a call back. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Uh, so I made a couple more phone calls and I actually got a hold of somebody that has my windshield in stock and they'll be able to replace it for me tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Thank God. Okay, so I'm gonna hold off on talking about camera gear until the next video, but for the rest of the night right now, I think I'm gonna head into town, go to Planet Fitness, get a little bit of a workout in, and take a shower because that's the number one benefit of a Planet Fitness membership. <laughs> and then I'm gonna head down to the, uh, the London Bridge and try to take a couple photos of sunset and then wake up early tomorrow morning to get this freaking windshield fixed. is back to a hundred percent definitely a little bit of an inconvenience but it's definitely not the worst thing that could have happened well living on the road and living out of my truck literally so super happy that I was able to get it fixed literally within almost basically 12 hours from realizing that it was broken now I have it fixed super pumped about that and uh, I think I'm going to wrap the video up here. Last night, taking photos of the London Bridge was really interesting. The juxtaposition between the bridge that's originally from London and then with rental jet skis and pontoon boats in front of it and then mountains in Arizona behind it. It's just such a bizarre place. Even though it is kind of bizarre, I actually really, really like Lake Havasu. And to be honest, might come back here in the future it's a really cool spot and if I was here actually on a vacation I suppose where I could get rental jet skis and a pontoon boat and things like that and was maybe here with family or friends I think it would be a fun place to hang out for a couple of days thank you to CMG Auto Glass for getting this thing fixed literally within 12 hours for me and thank you everybody who's watching the video if you haven't already given it a thumbs up please do that and if you haven't subscribed yet please do that as well and turn on notifications if you want to see more content from me. Again, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.